Actually declared, I don't know how true this is, but a state of emergency as of today, which is the 9th of April. April. Um, yeah, yeah, it's definitely after over a week of uh, inhaling the stuff, it's definitely taken its toll. Um, we're both both on ibuprofen to get rid of headaches, uh, noses are blocked up, and just overall fatigue. Yeah. Um, it's coupled with the heat. It's yeah. um, there's a bit of a heat wave going on at the moment, so all those things together has just really taken it out of us. Um, but yeah, this this train, it, it should have beds on it. Um, I'm on the upper bunk, Sarah's on the bottom. Yeah. And um, yeah, it leaves at six o'clock in the evening and it gets into Bangkok at 10 to seven, 6.50 in the morning. And hopefully we can check in early to our hotel. I've sent them a message to say, hey, we're gonna get in early, can we check in early? And, they said okay, so if that means okay, I got your message, or okay, you can, we'll find out. But yeah, it'll um, it'll be good to get down into Bangkok and some clearer air, even though yeah. it's not it's not the best air anyway. It's 40 degrees at the moment too, so we're like just damp sitting here just from sweating so much. Um, but yeah, it's definitely been a bit of a hassle. Yeah, yeah. The train's already sitting here. It's just obviously not loaded yet. Yeah. Because it's still another hour and a bit till we go, but. Yeah, um, at least we're here, ready to go and ready for the next adventure. See how that goes. <laughs> So there's Frank, there is our fried rice that he just got the, what yeah. was it, 30 baht? Yeah, 30 baht. Um, there's a, a food carriage on here, but there's people sitting in there already. Mm. Um, and I, was, I don't know the prices, but she was out there 30 baht for like two a chicken and a pork um, fried rice. I was like, we'll just grab that. It's only 30 baht mm. and um, probably tastes better than what's on the train anyway. <laughs> So yeah, we've got water, this little tray table here, pops out, heaps of leg room. Yeah, and our, um, our bags fit nice and easily underneath the seat, so mm -hmm. yeah, there's plenty of room for luggage. And there's also these things up here, which I assume you could put luggage in as well. <laughs> Not for people to sleep, I hope. Nah. But Frank's, um, Frank's bed, I assume, is this thing here. It'll probably fold down. And then you've got, looks like on the screen there, the um, the journey as well, which is pretty cool. You can sort of see where you are. Yeah. leaving pretty much bang on time which was really good um, yeah just keen to get going get on the way to Bangkok get out of the smog in Chiang Mai um, yeah we've only got like after Bangkok a couple of days left in Thailand and it's um yeah kind of all just sinking in now it's gonna be a really busy time when we're in Bangkok with Songkran and stuff um, don't think we're gonna have very much downtime until we are in Malaysia so that is quite exciting but daunting at the same time 
Yeah. Scary times ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Cow fat move. So by this stage of the trip, um, the sun had gone down, we'd had our dinner and we were pretty ready for bed. Just a really quick um, toilet review. So the trip was about a 12 hour trip and the whole time we were on the train the toilet stayed really nice and clean. There was always toilet paper. The sinks always had um, fresh hand towels and stuff. So yeah, really awesome. Beds are getting sorted and I am on the bottom. Frank is on the top. Yep, that's it. <laughs> yep. Awesome cop Thank you, cop and car. Thank you. Little, um, it's like a little cubby hole. Yeah, it is. Like a Ford. It is. It's so cozy. <laughs> Giving us blankets, pillows, blankets, pillows. Um, yeah, it's so cute. I forgot to mention before, but they do have. Um, PowerPoints on the train and you've got like a little reading light as well. There it is. And then <laughs> this thing closes. Closes all the way so you've got privacy from Frank. Yep. <laughs> to get up on the top bunk you got your little step here. And then oh. Hello. What's going on? Hey, didn't see you there. <laughs> um, yeah, I just thought I'd talk about the the length of the uh, little cabin here. Do you want so, to show it? Yeah, yeah. So that's my feet right up against the right up against the the wall there, and then I've probably got one centimeter between my head and the. Not um, even. It's like a finger space. About a centimetre yeah. <laughs> between my head and the, the wall, so uh, I'm six foot, a legitimate six foot, none of this 5'11", 5'10 shit, and I just fit in, so if you're my height or under, you're laughing, if you're any taller than me, you're not laughing. There's a lot of privacy on the train, which um, sort of surprised us, all the bunk beds completely close off, um, so you get some private time to have a nice little sleep. Um, 8.30 was when I went to bed. I woke up once during the night because the train was sort of swaying a little bit and then again at 5.28 in the morning um, and then I just couldn't get back to sleep so um, yeah just got up, looked out the window, it's starting to get a little bit light um, and then we were coming into Bangkok. So during the night we both actually had a really good sleep. Um, the train wasn't swaying too much, we didn't really feel it at all. Well, very good. <laughs> yeah. Look at all that concrete. Beautiful. Ooh. Look at that. Alright guys, we made it to Bangkok! Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, 
I don't know if we're gonna get public transport or grab a grab, but we'll decide. Get a sec. Yeah, yeah, we'll just have a look. We'll get up yep. on the street and then we'll assess. But uh, yeah, yeah, lucky we took the jumpers off because it's hot. It's as so already. hot. Oh my god. I feel like um, yeah, like moist. Yeah. I really feel the humidity. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So we're just ordering Grab, we decided that with the bags it is probably going to be a little bit easier than getting public transport, so happy days there. Hey, good news, I've just checked the air quality and it's 41 here which is green and good. So we have gone down 10 times from what we're experiencing in Pi, so yeah, it should be a bit easier to exist. So it's quarter past eight in the morning and we just got to our accommodation in Bangkok and um, yeah, no one's here. So <laughs> just got to try and give him a call and figure it out. Yeah, yeah, I did say, can we check in early like 10 a.m.? It's just being modest there, knowing they're arriving early, but um, yeah, send a message and see how we go. But um, yeah, check in's at two, so Fingers crossed we can get right around here with the bags, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so it's been I think like 20 minutes yeah. in waiting. Um and the lady's coming now to check us in. So happy days on that. Um and we can yeah check in early, which is freaking awesome. I'm so happy about that. Yeah, it's like six hours early. Yep. Just about. So yeah. yeah, happy days. We'll um be in the room, show it off and have a shower. Have a shower, <laughs> yeah, have a good shower. Mm. And um, maybe go and buy a new camera. Yep. Alrighty guys, so this is the room. So we've got a bed. They've given us this um, cute little gift here, which is adorable. Don't really know what it is, but still very thoughtful. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a little like, um, little bag. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, and it's got shaved up foam in it. Ah, it's a little balcony. Cool beer. Yeah, that beer's dope. Yeah. There you go. Bathroom, I would assume. Yeah. In here. Pretty typical. Room. Yep. Thai bathroom. <laughs> does smell a bit weird in here. It does. No, when we came in. But Japanese art. Yep. Mm. I'll call it that. And that's it. Oh, there's no fridge in it. Oh. Hey. There's a smart TV though. There's so. a smart TV, so they'll be signing up to Frank and Sarah <laughs> uh, as soon as we turn that on. Yep. So, yeah. The air quality surely must be better than 